My name is Khaled Karout, CEO of Arab Tech Company. In this video, our team will demonstrate how construction activities can be optimized using simple productivity techniques. The study was done on a mid-rise building under construction and located on 501 East University Avenue in Champaign, Illinois. The activity under study consists of installing prefabricated wooden trusses on the roof of the building using the help of a telescopic crane. We decided to do the observation on a clear sunny day, ideal for construction work, to eliminate any external factors that could have a major impact on productivity. The construction site is located in an urban area which affects materials and equipment availability. The video was shot around 2 p.m. on the 18th of March 2016. The video was taken from the northern and western sides of the building to show all the steps associated with this activity. The weather was ideal, the temperature was 69 degrees Fahrenheit, the humidity was 42% and 0 inch precipitation, and the wind was 6 miles per hour. The workers on the roof were wearing hard hats and a safety harness with a shock absorbing lanyard. A temporary fence with appropriate signage is installed around the construction site. Furthermore, a billboard is located on one corner inside our construction site, which makes the movement of the crane restricted. So further caution should be taken when operating the boom of the crane. Our team of engineers is going to observe and analyze the installation of timber trusses on the roof during the construction process. This activity is taking place on the roof of a mid-rise building and the timber trusses are being lifted by a mobile crane from the ground floor. The use of the telehandler is necessary in order to transfer the timber trusses from the storage area close to the mobile crane. There, the telehandler operator ties the timber truss with a lifting belt to the crane hook. One carpenter or two carpenters are working here. By following the guidance of the rigger, the timber truss is placed in the right position. Then, three carpenters untie the timber truss and they install it on the roof. After observing our workers on the job site, our team developed a plan to improve our productivity by generating crew balance, process charts and flow diagram. As you can see in the slide, the crew balance chart shows sequential activities for the actions of our crew members and equipment. For the cycle we have studied, we had three carpenters on the roof, one crane with its, with its operator, in addition to the telehandler with its operator with a, and the helper on the ground. From the crew balance, we can visualize the idleness in the job of the helper and the telehandler. We can also see that the carpenters on the roof are the one controlling the productivity with zero idleness, while the crane had idle times while waiting for the carpenters to finalize their previous truss. We will later see how our team will address those problems in the improvement plan. In addition to the crew balance shown before, our data analysis team also developed process charts and flow diagrams. One second. In every cycle, two trusses will be displayed from the storage area to the crane reach area using a telehandler. The telehandler operator will then hook one of the trusses to the crane with help from an extra laborer. The crane will then lift the truss to the roof where it gets attached to its final location by a crew of three carpenters. The crane then travels empty to the ground level to lift the second truss. In the process charts, we can see that both trusses will be transported, temporarily stored, hooked, and then lifted to their permanent location. At ArabTech, we're committed to delivering our projects on time by ensuring that the productivity of the workers are up to certain desired standards. As part of our project management strategies, we conduct and analyze activities and adopt solutions. Our first improvement strategy is 
Upon analyzing the crew balance chart, we notice that the carpenters have no idle time, while the other workers have some idle time. This means that the carpenter crew is the bottleneck. Hence, to solve the problem, the first improvement is to add carpenter crew. As you can see, after adding the carpenter crew, the time in the crew balance chart reduced to 420 seconds instead of the previous 660 seconds. Nevertheless, the process chart is still the same for the new operation. Uh, this is because we still have the same activities for the trust placement. The second suggested improvement seeks to eliminate the telehandler and the operator by shifting the staging area of the wooden trusses. By doing this, we reduce the cycle time and also save cost. According to the second suggested improvement, we relocate the wooden trusses to the staging area of the crane. By making this improvement, we can eliminate the need for a telehandler and an operator, thereby reducing costs for this activity significantly while maintaining the same cycle time. By this improvement, only the helper would be needed to tie the wooden trusses to the hook of the crane. The crew balance chart on the slide helps us visualize this improvement and shows the reduction in labor and the need for an extra telehandler and its operator. So the third, third suggestion is the combination of first suggestion and second suggestion. It will reduce the cost of the process and it will reduce the idle time of the crane. Here we have added the crew of three carpenters and changed the staging area of the frames. As a result, the cycle time decreased from 660 seconds to 420 seconds. Also, the telehandler and its operator are eliminated, which results in decreasing the idle time of the helper. It can be seen in the flow diagram that the crane lifts the first frame and transports it to the, the location of carpenter crew number one. The crane will then come back to its initial position and lift the second frame to transport it to the location of carpenter crew number two. This way, the crane idle time will be eliminated. The fourth and the final suggestion is to eliminate the helper. Doing so will decrease the idle time of the telehandler operator. After careful analysis, it was determined that the helper and the telehandler operator are idle for most of the time. Helper only assists the telehandler operator in tying the wooden frames onto the crane hook. The operations performed by the helper can be easily done by the telehandler operator. As it can be seen in the crew balance chart, eliminating the helper from the process and assigning the work of the helper to the telehandler operator will decrease the idle time of the telehandler operator. But the telehandler operator needs to transport three frames at a time instead of two to maintain the same time of the whole activity. The process chart in the flow diagram for this improvement is as shown. We found that the optimal improvement does not always correspond to the strategy with the lowest cost. Instead, it corresponds to the strategy with the lowest cost per unit. The values for the cost of labor and equipment were retrieved from RS Means 2016. The total cost per cycle calculations are displayed in the table shown. Both the lowest cost and the shortest duration correspond to improvement number three, which suggests that we add another crew of three carpenters while storing the trusses within the telescoping crane's reach. This results in a minimum cost per unit of $45.66 per truss. Although we incur additional costs from the addition of the second crew of carpenters, the overall cost was decreased thanks to a considerable decrease in the cycle time. In conclusion, our productivity analysis and optimization team was able to come up with four improvements based on the crew balance, the process chart, and the flow diagram. Each improvement led to a different production rate and cost per unit. The most optimal improvement was achieved by the addition of a crew of three carpenters and storing the trusses within the crane reach. These adjustments resulted in a production rate of 0.47 man hour per truss and a unit cost of $45.56 per truss. Compared to the observed process, the production rate was found to be 0.55 man hour per truss and a unit cost of $64.87 per truss. This means the production rate is improved by 14.5% and the cost rate decreased by 29.6%. The results are based on the assumption that the initial storage of the wooden truss can be located closer to the crane to eliminate the need of a handler and consequently to a handler operator. In case the storage re relocation is not feasible due to unknown site logistics, a plan B will be based on the addition of a crew of three carpenters only.